When there's been an injury to the dorsum of the finger, it may have involved the extensor tendon. The tendon divides into three. There are lateral, two lateral bands and a central slip. Examining for the central slip can be quite difficult. One of the tests is to take the hand and put all the extensors on, on full stretch. So the, the wrist is flexed hard, the MCP joints are flexed hard, and then that means that the, all the power of the extensor is being inserted through the central slip. And there's a very strong springiness then of the fingers. It gets less as you come across to the ulnar half of the hand, but by testing that and testing the hand on the other side, you can see whether the, the springiness is normal for that specific digit for that patient. The other test is to sometimes done over a tabletop, so it's known as a tabletop ex uh, test. So it's to hold the PIP joint in flexion, holding the PIP joint in flexion and asking the patient to push against you with the tip of the finger. If they have an intact central slip, there's a fixed distance between the insertion of the central slip and the insertion of the conjoint tendons into the distal phalanx. And this means that they can't actively extend at the DIP joint when you are holding their PIP joint in flexion. However, if their central slip was divided or ruptured or avulsed, then there would be no anchoring of the extensor at that point and all the power of the extensor would be able to be transmitted through to the distal phalanx and they would in fact be able to push with resistance against you at the distal phalanx.